Today I will show you how I created this film mats in Premiere Pro. In Adobe Premiere Pro, you can create a film mats. Create a new black video clip to do this go to file new black video. You can also create a black video clip by importing a solid color image with a black background. Place the black video clip on the timeline. Select it and open the Essential Graphics panel. Go to Windows Essential Graphics. Add a solid color layer in the Essential Graphics panel. Click on the New Layer button and select Rectangle. This will add a new solid color layer to your project. Align it to the middle. Resize the solid color layer in Effect Control Panel D. Select Uniform Scale so you can change width and height of the rectangle. Add a mask. Click on the Pen tool in Opacity Effect. This will add a mask to the solid color layer, and create a mask to get curve edges. Select the clip to smooth out edges. Go to the Effects panel and search for Gaussian Blur by typing it in the search bar. Drag and drop the Gaussian Blur effect onto the clip in your timeline. Go to the Effect Controls panel and adjust the blurriness value to control the amount of blur applied to the clip. Now let's add noise effect to aesthetic look. Go to the Effects panel and search for noise by typing it in the search bar. Drag and drop the noise effect onto the clip in your timeline. Go to the Effect Controls panel and adjust the amount value to control the amount of noise added to the clip. Before adding a video, select the clips. Right click on the selected clips and choose Nest from the context menu. A new sequence will be created with the selected clips and the original clips will be replaced by the nested sequence in the timeline. Now add a video below the nested sequence in the timeline. Select nested sequence and in effect control panel turn blend mode normal to multiply so video will be visible. Resizing the video and it's done. You can add additional black video clips to create multiple mats in your project, or you can read it it create a copy you can double click on the nested sequence in the timeline to open it and read it it. Deleting a mask and resizing it. Now adding a new video and resize it. That's how you can create film mats.